everyone. I've brought you down to the beach. This is one minute bike ride from my house. It's a little bit windy today but hopefully this will work out okay. I can't see a thing out here in the sun but hopefully you can see it. There's the beautiful islands everybody goes and hangs out at. Down toward the south. It's a pretty magical place. We love to go for big walks up this beach. You can go in either direction. Guys, I'm going to show you our house today. This is, hmm, I guess you'd call it the master bedroom. This is my room. That's the view out into the hammock where I love to lay in the back patio. Big walk-in robe. Not that I have many clothes, it's wasted on me. Shower. Separate toilet. Vanity. Oh, I could have put a shirt on, hey. Nice big bathtub. Oh, there's my shirt. <laughs> It's too hot here for t-shirts. And we come out into the living area. This is our lounge room. We have a tiny TV because we don't even watch it. <laughs> we used to play pool a lot but the cats ruined the pocket so we don't really use it anymore. The front door. This was George's bedroom, but she just left home. So no one's in this room now. It has a walk in robe, Georgie's last bag. I have to find some little kids to give these stuffed toys to. And then this room has a bathroom, a vanity, and another loo, and shower recess. Excuse my terrible photography skills. I'll take you over and show you the kitchen now. It's a pretty standard kitchen. We do what we want in here. dining area which we never use because we sit outside actually it's really nice out this side of the yard I could have raked for you but you know you get that on the big jobs compost bin over there fruit trees over there show you the back patio. Oops. Now this 
opens onto the cassowary conservation area. Only one third of our block is cleared. There's my favourite spot over there in the hammock. So all the back of our block is not cleared. Well, it's not allowed to be cleared. Veggie gardens. Lots of fruit trees that we've planted. Guavas and carambolas and abiyus. More guavas, lots and lots of pineapples, of course. And this is a nice little area in here. <laughs> you can hear the wallabies bounding away. Mango tree, and of course, you can walk in the bush, you can do whatever you like in there, but you're not allowed to clear any of the trees in this area. So we have a really big bit of land back here that goes back to a little creek. That's where I put all our spare food for the cassowaries there. They haven't found that yet. So yeah, there's the house looking back on it from the yard. Some empty veggie gardens. I've got some seedlings coming up to put in there. It's been way too hot to get that going until now. And we've got another nice little area up here where Charlie always wanted to put a little gazebo on some chairs but we never got around to it. But I keep that in looking nice. I put pineapples everywhere. Yeah, so that's the backyard. There's that first bedroom I showed you. I'll be laying in that hammock in the sun later, I guarantee. This back patio gets used a lot. Nice big doors, nice big screens. Keep out the mozzies in the mozzie season. <laughs> But um, it's lovely most of the year and you can just throw it all open. Yeah. So that's our living area and a couple of the bedrooms. There's the kitchen again. I'll show you a bit more of it later. So we'll come up this hallway now. It's not going to be that exciting because the boys are asleep in their rooms. Charlie's room. That's the boys' toilet and the boys' bathroom. They have a shower recess and a vanity and a bathtub. And then that's Jack's room at the end there. They were up all night. I could hear him playing the guitars. And this is a spare room that nobody uses. Walk-in robe. Big window. Okay guys, I'll show you out the front yard. This is out the front doors. Georgia and I did this gravel and these stepping stones here. The wallabies sit up on these rocks sometimes. There's up that side by Jack's bedroom. More pineapples and various fruit trees. Mulberry tree up the front yard. Got a double garage. I could have put the roller door down, couldn't I? There's the Barbados cherry tree. And up the side of the house is the clothesline. And a whole big row of 
chocolate pudding fruit trees and tea trees and various other fruit trees that Georgia and I have planted. That's the washing machine you can hear washing the clothes for me. And we have some citrus trees down there, some mandarin and lime and a frangipani and there's the backyard that I showed you before. <laughs>